All right, let's talk about something everyone's thinking about, but nobody wants to say out loud. Using AI for schoolwork. And before you click away thinking this is another boring lecture about academic integrity, it's not. This is the real deal, the actual method that works in 2025. Look, 88% of students are using AI tools like ChatGPT for their assignments right now. That's almost everyone. If you're not using it, you're literally working twice as hard for the same result. But here's the problem. Most people are using it wrong and they're getting caught. I'm gonna show you exactly how to do this properly, step by step. Not just theory, I'm talking about the actual tools, the actual process, the stuff that actually works. First, let's talk about why people get caught. The main mistake, they copy paste directly from ChatGPT into their assignment. That's suicide. AI detectors like Turnitin, ZeroGPT, and Originality AI will catch that instantly. Here's what happens. When AI writes something, it has specific patterns, perfect grammar, formulaic sentence structure, repetitive phrases. It's too clean, too perfect. And that's exactly what gives it away. Professors aren't stupid. They've been reading student work for years. They know what natural student writing looks like, messy, imperfect, with a personal voice. When they see robot perfect text, red flags go up everywhere. The second mistake, using AI, but not understanding what you're submitting. Imagine your professor asks you to explain your own argument and you can't, game over. But there's a third mistake that almost nobody talks about, and it's the biggest one, not testing your work before submitting it. You need to check if your text will pass AI detectors before your professor checks it. Okay, here's the real method. I'm gonna walk you through this step by step. This is tested, proven, and currently working in 2025. The key is understanding that AI is a tool, not a replacement for your brain. You use it to save time on the boring stuff so you can focus on the important stuff, actually learning and adding your own insights. Students who use AI correctly save an average of 51% of their time while improving their work quality by 50%. That's not cheating, that's working smart. Step one, generate your base content. First step, go to HIX AI. This is one of the best AI writing tools right now. It's fast, it's powerful, and it generates quality content. Put in your topic, your requirements, the angle you wanna take. Let's say I need to write about productivity strategies for college students. I go to HX AI, I type in my topic, I set the tone to professional but conversational, and I hit generate. Within seconds, I have a solid draft. It covers the main points, has good structure, includes relevant information. This is my foundation. This alone saves me probably two hours of staring at a blank page. But, and this is critical, I don't stop here. This text right now would fail every AI detector. It's too clean, too AI-like. If I submitted this, I'd be caught immediately. Step two, test it with AI detectors. Here's where most people skip a step and screw themselves. Before doing anything else, I need to know how AI this text actually is. I open up Google and search for AI detectors. The two main ones everyone uses, Quillbot AI Detector and Zero GPT. These are the same tools universities use, so I need to check against them. I copy my HIX AI text and paste it into Quillbot first. I run the check. The result, 78% AI generated. Yeah, that's what I expected. This would fail instantly if I submitted it. Then I test it on zero GPT. Same story, 94.4% AI, 6% human. Not even close to passing. This is the reality check. This shows me exactly why I can't just copy paste from AI tools. The detectors are too good. I need to transform this text completely. Step three, use the AI checker on Humbot. Now here's where things get interesting. I go to Humbot AI. This is the game-changing tool that most people don't know about. Humbot has a built-in AI checker right on their website. Before I even humanize anything, I can test my text there too. This gives me a baseline across multiple detection systems. I paste my HIX AI text into Humbot's checker. It runs it through multiple AI detectors at once. Originality AI, GPT-0, Turnitin, all of them. The result shows up in seconds. Originality AI, 100% AI, GPT-0, 94.4% AI. Turn it in high AI probability. Basically, this text would be flagged by every system out there. But here's the beautiful part. I can see this before my professor does. I'm checking my work before it even gets submitted. That's the smart move. Step four, humanize the content. 
All right, now for the magic. Right there in Humbot, I click on the Humanize button. This is where Humbot takes my AI text and completely transforms it. What does humanizing mean? It's not just rephrasing. Humbot uses advanced algorithms to rewrite the text with natural human patterns. It changes sentence structures, varies word choice, adds the kind of imperfections that real humans have when they write. It analyzes patterns that AI language models typically use and replaces them with alternatives that humans actually use. The meaning stays the same, but the style becomes completely human. I have three modes to choose from, quick, enhanced, and advanced. For important assignments, I always use advanced. It takes a few extra seconds, but the results are way better. I click humanize and wait. It takes about 10 to 15 seconds. Then boom, I have my humanized text. Reading through it, I can see the difference immediately. It flows more naturally. Sentences vary in length. Some phrases are less formal. It actually sounds like a person wrote it. But I don't just trust it. I need to verify. Step five, test again and compare. This is the crucial step, testing the humanized version against those same AI detectors. I need to see if the transformation actually worked. I copy the new humanized text and go back to Quillbot AI detector. I paste it in, run the check. This time, 0% AI, 100% human. Massive difference. Then zero GPT. I paste the humanized text there. The result, 5% AI, 95% human. This would pass. Uh, back to Humbot's built-in checker to test against all the others. Originality AI, 99.6% human. GPT-0, 95.2% human. Turnitin, low AI probability. Look at that difference from 95% AI to 5% AI. That's the power of proper humanization. That's what makes the difference between getting caught and getting an A. Step six, use the plagiarism checker. Now here's another crucial feature most people overlook. After humanizing your text, you need to make sure it's not just undetectable as AI, but also completely original. Humbot has a built-in plagiarism checker right on the platform. I click on it and paste my humanized text. Within seconds, it scans the content against millions of sources online. The result shows me the originality score. If it finds any matches with existing content on the internet, it highlights those sections and shows me the sources. This is critical because even if your text passes AI detectors, plagiarism will still get you in trouble. For academic work, you want that originality score above 95%. Anything lower means you need to rephrase some sections or add more of your own voice to make it truly unique. Step seven, generate proper citations. And one more tool that saves massive time using a citation generator. For any academic paper, you need proper citations and references. Getting the formatting wrong can cost you points even if your content is perfect. You can use tools like Scribber, MyBib, or Grammarly's citation generator that handle all major formats. MLA, APA, Chicago, Harvard, whatever your professor requires. You simply paste the URL or DOI of your source, select your citation style, and boom, you get a perfectly formatted citation. For example, if I'm citing a research article, I just drop in the DOI link, choose APA format, and it instantly generates the complete citation ready to copy straight into my references page. No more wrestling with formatting rules or worrying about commas and periods in the wrong places. This alone saves probably 30 minutes on every paper. And the best part? The citations are accurate. No mistakes that make your professor question your attention to detail. Let's break down why this method actually works while others fail. First, you're using multiple detection systems to verify your work. You're not guessing, you're testing. Second, Humbot isn't just a simple paraphrasing tool. It's specifically designed to bypass AI detectors. It understands what those detectors look for and rewrites your text to avoid those patterns. Third, you're seeing proof before submission. You know your text will pass because you've already tested it against the same tools your professor will use. Zero guesswork, and it's fast. The entire process from generation to humanization takes maybe five minutes. Compare that to hours of manual rewriting. Here are some pro tips to make this system even better. First, after humanizing, always read through the text yourself and add personal touches. A sentence here, an example there, maybe a personal anecdote. Why? Because even the best humanizer can't add your unique perspective. 
Your professor wants to see your voice, your understanding. So blend the humanized AI content with your own insights. Second tip, use different output modes for different purposes. Quick mode for rough drafts or casual assignments. Enhanced for regular essays. Advanced for anything important like research papers or finals. Let me give you the complete workflow I use for every assignment now. I start with research. I use AI to gather information, explain concepts I don't understand, suggest angles I might not have thought of. Then I generate the actual content on HX AI or similar tools. I get my base draft, my raw material to work with. Then immediately, I test it on AI detectors to know the baseline. Now I go to Humbot AI. I paste the text into their AI checker first, then humanize it using advanced mode. I test it again on all the detectors. I'm looking for 90% plus human scores. I run it through the plagiarism checker to ensure originality. I generate my citations for all sources. Once everything passes, I read through carefully and add my own voice, personal examples, specific insights. Look, I'm going to be real with you about ethics. If you're using AI to avoid learning entirely, yeah, that's cheating yourself. But if you're using AI to work more efficiently while you focus on critical thinking and analysis, that's just smart use of tools. Now, one more thing. We've talked about AI for writing, but what about reading? If you're dealing with hundreds of pages of textbooks or research papers, there's AI for that too. Tools like Speechify can literally read your documents out loud to you. Upload a PDF and it reads it in natural sounding voices while you're commuting or working out. Instead of spending three hours reading a chapter, you can listen at faster speed while multitasking. This is 2025. AI is part of education now. The smart students are learning to use it effectively. The system I showed you, generate, test, humanize, test again, check plagiarism, add citations, personalize. That's the method that works. But remember, the tool is just a tool. Your brain, your insights, your understanding, that's what actually matters. Use AI to enhance your work, not replace your thinking. Try this method on your next assignment. Follow every step exactly. Test everything. Verify everything. Now you know the real method. Use it wisely. Good luck out there.